John, one of the things that, that owners and, and operators really like about our machine, especially in your hot climate, right. in like Alabama, it is today in like Mobile. It is today, today it's going to be 100 degrees, is a cooling system. No one else has got a cooling system on their motor grader like we have. Well, tell me about it. All right. I'm going to pop open the uh, access door here. I'm going to let this come all the way out up. And what you see here is a hydraulically driven fan. Now, everybody's got that on their motor grader. And the neat thing about that is that the fan is run in independent of engine speed. That's right. So we're not running a fan wide open on a cool day. But on the other hand, if the machine is just working at a lower RPM, lower engine speed, but it's real hot out, the fan can run at, at full speed. Gotcha. It's totally independent based on the demand that's required. But that's where the similarities end relative to competition. Because when we open this up, what you'll see is what wow. the engineers would call plenum chamber. And that's the reaction we get from most people is wow. Wow. Because they see that the radiators and the heat exchangers are all arranged in this box. So they're not stacked together. There's no stack cores. And what that means is that the air comes in from each direction and is exhausted out the back. There's no air that gets blown up towards the operator. The air comes in from three sides, or, or right and left side, the top, and is exhausted out the back. So it's easy to clean if you do it manually, but we also have a reversing fan feature. Really? And that's blowing the material out. You can set it up in the cab to cycle every half an hour, every 15 minutes, or whatever you'd like. And it'll cycle, the fan will come to a stop, then it'll go wide open and reverse and blow the material out. So instead of an operator taking half a day to take stuff off and guards off Absolutely. to clean them out when they get overheated, he can do it automatically for him as he That's runs. That's exactly right. So it means he spends more time grading roads. Exactly. And here you got the air cleaner is, is buttoned up inside this plenum chamber, so you've got uh, ground level access to that as well. No one is a, no one else has got anything like this. Gary, that's incredible. It really works. Gary, one of the things that our customers ask us is what happens if I need to service the batteries? How hard are they to get to? Are they easy to get to? Because a lot of other graders, it's pretty difficult to get to the well, batteries right. for routine service. Some of the competition, they've, they've tucked their batteries up inside the engine compartment. Right. It does a couple of uh, actually negative things for you. First of all, that battery is running hotter. Right. A lot of people think that uh, cold is what tears up a battery. No, it's the heat. Gotcha. We mount our batteries on the tandem boxes, so they're out here in ambient conditions, and they're nice and easy to get to, and it, it, it affords you a cleaner engine compartment with less clutter. Um, we use a 24-volt system. Of course, that's standard 24-volt uh, run, 24-volt uh, start. Uh, normally, we'll have the uh, heavier-duty batteries, but it's whatever the customer specifies. Gotcha. Uh, but your batteries are mounted on the tandems, as you see here. Well, that's important to my customers, because when they have to change them, they don't want to have to crawl on a tire, crawl up on a machine. Yeah.